Welcome back, guys, to another short online tutorial with Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And today we are based in Photoshop. And of course, guys, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today to another online tutorial. The reason why we are here today, guys, is to discuss how do we place gradients within shapes, obviously within Photoshop. OK, just works a little bit differently. And obviously, that's what I'm here today to do is to make it a lot clearer for you. So with the layer, with the, uh, as you can see, sorry, as you can see, I've created a, an ellipse, okay, with this tool here. Obviously, if you use the right click, you have all the different options or different shapes. I press shift when I resized it because I wanted it to be a nice, perfect, proportionate ellipse. Now with the layer highlighted, I'm gonna to go to my properties window, okay? If you don't find your properties window, always go to window, properties okay and as you can see we have a fill and a stroke option so at the moment there's no weight to our stroke if i was to increase that now you can see that i can apply a stroke but guys we're obviously not here to discuss how do we apply a stroke to shapes we are here to discuss how do we apply gradients to shapes i have the fill option here like so i have all my swatches that i could use all the different um preset ones that photoshop give us I have the pattern option. I can come here and change the color if I'm interested. Okay, but I would like to apply a gradient, which is this option here. So now if I click that option there, as you can see, a gradient has now been applied. We have certain preset ones that Photoshop give us that we can use. Um, they're pretty cool. Just got to find the right ones to be using and stuff like that. And you shop around, have a look. You have the different option of the angle here. So you can manipulate and change the angle depending on what you would like. You have different types of gradients. At the moment, we're currently losing, using linear. We may you want to use radial gradients. I might swap that around using that. Okay, or diamond. Okay. Also, as well, you'll notice that I've, I've only been using uh, Photoshop's gradients, but obviously we are designers, guys, so we should be able to design and build our own gradients. As you can see, we've got the color stops here. If I was to double click, I can now change and build the gradient to what I would like. Yeah, there we go, something like so. And that allows me to change the angle also. Another benefit of shapes within Photoshop is you're allowed to add a gradient to the stroke. So if I now was to increase the size of the stroke, let's say, perfect, I have the stroke option here, and I can apply a gradient to the stroke. Really cool. So guys, that is how we apply gradients to shapes, okay? If you're interested in finding out more about our school, the courses that we offer, our tutors, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. You can also see some of the amazing work our students do on our Instagram page at blueskygraphicsuk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.